somebody has asked me about some of my snowdrop care and here's snowdrops you can see a pile of them here and some right here and um over the last two years i've been there were more groups of snowdrops here this is we're in this field next to the great oak field this is the field that the daffodils all come up in so it looks like the sun has gone splat onto the side of the field but over the last two years uh there's been a few of these clumps that i've taken dug up and been splitting and i've been splitting them all over here and you can see there's a few that have come up there's one there right there there's another there those are daffodils coming up and here's another one coming up but i've probably several hundred i've spread all over here there's another one There's another snowdrop coming up. Oh, look, I'm digging down. Anyway, all over this hill, oh, there's another one. You can see, but the result of these years, these last two years of spreading from those clumps, there were some more clumps right there and there that I dug up and I split. So it takes about three years for a snowdrop to adjust from being dug up there to being transplanted in a new location to producing flowers. Some of the bulbs will, as you can see here. Some of them will produce right away and some of them will take two or three years. But in the third and fourth year, what was a few clumps there will spread out and there will be like a cloud of white is what I'm trying to do. And it kind of makes it lovely for people who are walking along the road to in the spring because a lot of people come by here to see the daffodils so what i'm trying to do is a display of snowdrops that can be beautiful that is creeping up the side of the hill here slowly it'll take in about four or five years there will be from that little clump there there will be a huge spread of snowdrops in that area like a cloud landing on the side of the hill, or at least that's the plan. For the moment, you can only just see a few scattered clouds rather than one big cloud, but it'll take three to four years for this to turn into a cloud of snowdrops. One of the animals that eats the snowdrop bulbs are little uh, shrews. And we've got an invasive species in Ireland now called the white tooth shrew that came, we're not, I can't remember where, it might be Asia or somewhere. And so Inca has found where one is living and you digging in there, what's in there? <laughs> so she smells it and she wants to get it. But they dig up, you can see this is a hole that was dug. This is celandine. These are celandine and they're coming up now. They're a wonderful kind of um, medicinal plant for sheep and things like that. But they will, this will have been dug up by the shrew to eat the roots. And they also dig up and eat the roots, the bulbs of snowdrops. So because it's an invasive species, here's, this is more celandine that's coming up. These are celandine here and they have a yellow flower. Here's a big batch of celandine here. But one of the reasons to spread the snowdrops from there is to make it more difficult. So it's not so easy because a big clump of snowdrops like that make it for loads of food in one location for the shrew. And if I spread it out, it means more bulbs will survive so that the pollinators can get spring pollen from snowdrops. Now that line of trees where she's galloping away from is where Inca is digging the vole. And right there is that pile of snowdrops that I left. 
that I've spread up over that field. Okay, so where I am at the moment, there's no trees, no shade, no shelter. Okay, there's a myth that snowdrops need to be in shade. And here, this bunch of snowdrops is now coming up. They're a different kind, I think, from the other ones down below. But these snowdrops every year come up in this location, right there. And you can see there's a lime tree there and there's no trees in the vicinity. There's the oak tree there and there's the woods up there. So there are no trees sheltering this, this clutch of bulbs. So this year, when this clutch of bulbs comes up, I'm going to separate them and spread them around this area because I know those don't mind being in a sun-baked area because in the summer months, it will be a very baked bit of soil. So that's my intention. Whether I do it this year or not is another thing, but it's my intention to dig that group up and spread all the little bulblets around in this area. Isn't that right? That's my intention. <laughs>